to be if you wanted a great premium sports coupe, you better like your beer with your Wiener Schnitzel. In other words, almost all great small sports coupes came from a car factory in Bavaria. But those days are long gone, and here's my proof. The Infiniti G37. By the way, the X stands for all-wheel drive. And unlike the German rivals, the Infiniti is all about organic shapes and forms. You know, smooth and round, soft angles. You'd be hard-pressed to find a hard, 90-degree angle anywhere on this car. The Infiniti G37 certainly wasn't designed in the leafy shade of the English gardens in Munich's downtown, but instead, inspired by the samurai sword. You see it? That's it right there, the grill of the G37. That's what was inspired by the blade of the samurai sword. There was a time, if you wanted, a premium sports coupe. It was BMW 3 Series and everybody else. But those days are long gone. Infiniti has built a worthy competitor to the BMW. Of course, the G37 joins a long list of sporty cars competing for your money. So what makes it special from all the rest? To start with, it has about every creature comfort and new technology you could ever want or imagine. From adaptive cruise control to keyless entry to available four-wheel steering, and of course, my personal favorite feature, an automatic transmission that will bleep the throttle for you as you shift, just like a race car. Now, you can get the G37 in a non-all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive version, but when you're carving the canyons like I am right now, there's a sure-footedness about the all-wheel drive that's just hard to beat. And especially when the road turns icy or wet, that's when it really pays off to have all-wheel drive. The Infiniti also comes with a user interface that can be controlled by voice, touch, and of course, buttons. But forget about all that. What makes this car worth your money is the engine note. Oh my god, I love the sound of that engine note. Can you hear it? It's 330 horsepower, coursing through all four wheels. This is like a slot car, just glued to the side of the road. Of course, there are some drawbacks. <clears throat> to the Infiniti Coupe if you happen to be over the height limit of the typical amusement park ride. So this is a proper four-seater car, but I gotta tell you, it helps to be a Russian gymnast if you wanna get in and out of it. And actually, to be truthful, it helps to be a short, headless Russian gymnast because if you're six foot two like I am, this is no place for you to be for any length of time outside of like a minute and a half. Let's see you get out of it. Wish me luck. <coughs> Call an ambulance if uh, I have some kind of a muscle seizure. But I think I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh, good God. Yeah, yeah, not a place to be if you're anything over like five foot four. And if I'm being completely honest, a zen-like samurai-inspired styling is a bit ho-hum. Like a vanilla sundae without the whipped cream and cherry on top. It has the flavor of a great treat, but without the visual pop to make you want to order one from the display menu. So, on the TFL rating scale of buy it, lease it, or forget it, how does the Infiniti rank? The Infiniti G37X is not only a fast and fun car, but it's a worthy competitor to its German rivals. That's why I give it the TFL car buy it. Roman Micah, reporting for TFLcar.com. <laughs>